Hey y'all, welcome back to the DG Outdoors. In today's video, I want to show you guys my new Predator to call. This is the uh, Western Rivers Mantis Pro 100 electronic game call, okay? This has 100 preloaded calls on it, anything from barn animals, like farm animals, to coyotes and fox and all kinds of stuff. Moose, really, really cool. White-tailed deer, even. Um, this is going to replace the uh, Primo's dog catcher call that I'm doing a giveaway on. The thing I really, really like about it is that it actually has an LCD screen that shows you what you're doing. So to run this thing, you're going to need, number one, a screwdriver to get in here. Eight AA batteries. And in the back, one 9-volt battery. Okay, that's part of the reason why I bought this. The dog catcher runs on a special battery for the remote, and I have to order it online. Um, but we're going to turn this thing on. I'm going to kind of show you guys um, what it sounds like, um, how to work it, I guess, and do a little review. It says it has a 300-yard long-range remote control, so you can actually use it up to 300 yards. Whether that's actually accurate or not, I'm not sure. I think I'll probably only be sending it about 50 yards away when I'm hunting. Um, but the thing I really like about it is the adjustable legs on it right here. You can actually adjust it to point it up and down wherever you need to. The, the remote actually uh, clips down in here like this. Hold your remote, which is really, really nice. And this thing's pretty loud. All right, I'm gonna actually, so when you turn it on, press the little button right here. Okay, it's gonna light up, say Mantis Pro 100, Western Rivers, pretty cool. Um, it's already on three, we're gonna turn the call on itself. It's got an on and off switch right here. Okay, you flip that little switch on there. Green light says it's on, really nice plastic covers to cover that up. Um, you can sync more calls under this, I believe. It's got a little, uh, little button right here. Let's test to see if it's in range. All right. Um, it says in range. All right. And then I can actually go volume by over, switch it up and down. Enter the calls. Enter. Let's do coyote. Enter. Um, coyote locator. Let's play that one. zero so these things are really really short okay so in order for me to make these longer all right they actually have a repeat you go up and it'll repeat itself see play calls coyote again enter Coyote locator enter. And it'll do it. Now I think I have it set to where it randomly does it different sequences here. Um let's see if I want to do crow. It's got a hundred preloader calls, so like crow and everything. There's crow right there. Enter. Let's do crow. Enter. Crow. There we go. Just getting used to this thing. So, it'll play crow. This is how loud it gets. Ow. That is really, really loud on 10. Are you going to my ears? No. Alright, so then back. Okay, let's pick something else here. Calls. Let's do... Turkey. Enter. Um, gobbles. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I mean, it's just got all different types of call right? But I can set it where it says Sinential Play Calls. Like, I can set certain calls to play. Settings. Enter. Repeat Delay. Okay. So it'll I can do random and then it'll random generate how it repeats these calls. Um it's got cat feline, okay, bobcat distress. Pretty neat. 
um, all kinds of stuff. Uh, Kathy Line, Coyote, Crow, Deer, Farm Animals, Elk, Moose, Rabbit, Rodents, Turkey, Waterfowl, Whitetail, Winged Animals, and Wolf Canine are the options that it has. But then when you click on it, let's say Rodent, let's do Raccoon Pup, right? Play. Raccoon Pup. Pretty cool. Little call. I like it. Uh, let's do white tail real quick. Two bucks fighting. Now, legally, can I use this for deer hunting? No. The only thing that I can use this for is coyote and um crow hunting like predator hunting and crow hunting is all i can use it for this has got like a hundred preloaded calls and just different ones um all right so let's do a rabbit distress okay enter cottontail distress juvenile jack rabbit cottontail this is probably what i'd use the most or my ears earlier. The thing I really like about it is the, the light up screen. I can easily maneuver between it. It took a little bit when I was playing with it to get used to it though, so. Um, turn that down a little bit. Elk. Elk bugle grunt. This is with the farm animals. Chickens, wild hog, lamb bleats, pig, baby piglets. Wild hog distress. It's just got a lot of stuff, guys. And then, you know, you can just... Let's go. It's just real easy to switch through all the cars. It's just got all kinds of stuff you can do on here. It's pretty neat. Basically, I'm going to use it as a predator call and a crow call, which is neat too. So, I mean, it's got cats, it's got coyotes, crow, everything you guys can think of. I read reviews when I buy these things. Right? I'm going to shut it off so I'm not um, wasting down the battery. So, I read all the reviews, and people are like, the calls sound distorted. You know, whatever. Yeah, I get that. Maybe it's not the best product out there, but I mean, I paid a hundred dollars for it, nine uh, ninety nine ninety nine, at AcademySports.com. So I think it'd be a good upgrade from what I had originally. And it's just, it's not very heavy. Um, you can't adjust the speaker, but um, I think for as much as I'm going to use it, this will work out good compared to what I had. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little review. Um, yeah, the Mantis Pro 100. They have another series called the Mantis Pro 400, which has 400 preloaded calls. But uh, I decided to go with this one. Plus, I have Cast Creek calls coming. The, the Mini Predator little handhold call. Got the Predator 2 and the Predator 1 call coming in the mail as well to do... Uh, more coyote hunting with so you all remember like comment subscribe Jesus loves you and I will see you guys on the next one thanks for watching